Hi there, welcome back to Acquired Taste. My name is Rachel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, uh, and today we're gonna do a thrift haul. So this is mostly jeans. I think I have one sweater to show you and everything else is jeans. Um, I purchased this, all the stuff from Plato's Closet, which is a buy-sell trade store. Um, so uh, you bring your clothes in, they pay you, you know, X percent, you know, some money and then they flip it for more money. So it's kind of what, you know, I'm doing, except they're doing it in a brick and mortar uh, and I do it online. So, uh, they had their 70% off clearance sale. I went and participated and I think I found some really, really great stuff. I'm super excited about it. Again, these are like all jeans and pants, uh, except for the one sweater. So I'm going to just dive right in. All right. The only sweater that I purchased, uh, oh, and I, I should say, I think I spent $63 on the entire thing, maybe 73, but very little. I think my cost of goods, nothing was more than $6. So maybe that's helpful. <laughs> um, and I think my lowest item was like $4 and 20 cents. All right. First, this is a free people. Let's see if you can see. Oh my God, my nails terrible. I'm so sorry. It's 4th of July a few weeks, two weeks ago, and I still haven't changed my nails. Um, anyways, this is free people. It's hundred percent wool. Uh, it's called the side winder, side winder, not winder, <laughs> side winder sweater. It's hundred percent wool knit, uh, sweater. Really cute. has a cowl neck and in the back, it's kind of open. It was pilled, uh, pretty good. I took a sweater shaver to it and I think I got majority of it off. Um, but I did put in my listing that it still is slightly pilled and really it's not pilled. It just is a little worn, but I think that it adds to kind of the, the feel of it. And I, that bohemian feel and I, I really like it. So, um, that's the sweater. All right. I spoke way too long on that. Now let's go to jeans. So the other thing is it was 70% off of their jeans. However, majority of these are really small sizes. So like 24s and 25s. Uh, that's the only bummer, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway. So this first one is rag and bone in a size 24. And this is called the 10 inch Capri. So you can see it's 10 inch rise and it's got the raw hem, or actually I think this is called a released hem. Um, and then it does have, you know, it's raw at the bottom, really cute in great condition. All of these are in like excellent condition. So, um, I have everything is also, has also been listed. I can't remember what I listed everything for, but I listed them all between yesterday and today. So they are all available. I think most of them are like 35 to, I think maybe one's like 60 or 70. I'm not hundred percent sure. All right, next pair is AG, Adriano Goldschmied. These are the stilt roll-up, cigarette roll-up uh, pants, and they're this blue. Of course, they're rolled up right here. Kind of a blue, they're really soft material. It's not like denim, they're like pants. Um, and these are a size 25. So the stilt I've sold before, I have for really good luck with AG, I'm happy to sell these. Next, all right, this brand I don't pick up often, I know I talk about it a lot, so Paige, lots of times there's poles in the crotch, or um, it's called puckering, but I really loved these moto jeans. So they've got the zipper on the bottom here, and they're these really cool moto jeans in a size 25, I love them. So those I'm hoping to get, I think, um, I think these I may have listed for, oh geez, 35 to $50. Next, uh, free people. I do love picking up free people pants. Oh, here's what the tag looks like. Some people may get confused. It says FP. If you're a new reseller, reseller, that does mean free people. These are in a size 25. Um, and they're just blue corduroy pants. Um, and, and really, I think they're supposed to be rolled up slightly. There's a really nice photo, uh, stock photo that I was able to find of them. And these are in great condition. They're just blue corduroy pants, they're straight leg, but I think they're meant to be rolled up. So I did include that stock photo and um, also the photos of the clothes, like the this specific pair as well. All right, next, I love picking up this brand. It's Pistola. 
So Pistola is a great brand for me. Um, size 26, and this one is, oh man, I can't remember the name of it, but it's really, really cool. It's uh, It's got like the side stripe on it. It's got the raw hem on the bottom. The It's, it's distressed. I think it is on the back too, on the pockets. Um, and these are just so awesome. I hope that, you know, people who are still wearing skinny jeans, um, are interested in this. And like, it's almost like brand new, like the tag on the back looks like it's never been worn basically. So these are in excellent condition. The stock photos were fantastic. So I'm very happy to get those again. Nothing was over $6. So these, this is like killer deals in my opinion. All right, the next brand is one that I talk about a lot, Big Star. I do like picking up Big Star, and these are uh, the Colette Mid-Rise Legging, and they're really comfortable material. These are like jeggings, super nice. Um, the back, uh, it kind of looks like a little vintage-y in the back, but I think it's supposed to. I think that patch is supposed to look vintage-y, but they're just some jeggings, basically. I can sell Big Star from between $28 and $50. So happy about that for less than $6. Okay, this brand I'm starting to pick more and more up because I am finding that I'm able to flip it pretty quickly. Uh, and this is Can Can. So I know some of it sold it, I think, Anthropology. This is just a pair of skinny jeans. And they're just a regular old skinny jeans. And I think it's called an antique wash. It's, it's kind of like, it's not solid all the way through, but they're, it's, it's in excellent condition. And I'm trying to see, this is the, oh man, there's a name for it. And I don't, it, it's not on here, but I typed the style number in to Google. Can Can Skinny Jeans style number, and it pulls it up real quick. And so I got a good stock photo of this as well. But I think I can sell these for probably about $40. Next, this is going to be a quick video, which is great because some of my videos have been long recently. Um, the next is another pair of Free People pants, and these are like tiny. <laughs> this is a size 25, high rise, obviously, but the leg is just so small. I don't even know if I could fit my arm in this thing. Uh, but what? No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> okay. Um, damn it. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, these are very small. I don't know if I can fit my arm in here, uh, but. I'm happy to have free people in my closet. I think I have them listed for maybe $36. Uh, we'll see if we can move them. All right, next, I loved these pants. You actually the last two pairs of pants I really liked. Um, the, this is Current Elliot here. And it's like this gray black pair of pants with the zip pockets and it's got distressing on the knees. And this one is called the Soho Stiletto Caliber Destroy jeans. Uh, and that is manufactured to look like distress on top, kind of just a destroyed pair of jeans. They're skinny jeans. I really like them, totally my style. Um, and I can't wait to wear jeans again. I can't tell you the last time I wore jeans. <laughs> um, other than I wore a pair of maternity jeans like once since I've been pregnant, but everything else has been leggings. Um, all right, so. The last piece we have here is We The Free. It's a sub-brand of Free People, size 25. And again, these are the zipper pockets. Um, it's not distressed, but then on the bottom, on the back, there's a zipper on the pant leg. So these are really nice. This is a more comfortable material than the last pair of Free People. I find that sometimes Free People, like it's that denim that's kind of hard to move in. Uh, the, this one's a lot better than, la than that other pair, but um, Anyways, that's everything from Plato's Closet. I actually think I had, I did have a sweater um, by Vici, which is a boutique brand. I think it's very popular on Instagram. There's some influencer that's all about it, I think. Um, and it was a cat, like cashmere blend sweater, but I found a fat stain on it and I was so 
bummed. Um, something I can't get out, especially cashmere. It's super hard to treat. It was really big and I didn't see it until I put it under my light. Um, but so that, I think I paid $3 for it. So I just incorporated that into my costs for some of these other pants. And then I think I have one other pair of pants that is in the wash right now. And I can't remember what the name of the brand is and I'm not familiar with it. So um, but that's everything. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing or liking my video. Um, I think this was fairly quick and so hopefully uh, you learned something or this is helpful um, and hopefully you'll see me in the next video. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. Oh man. Whatever. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Andrew. I'm done now.